The next episode in our 21 digital film series is now online. The series examines the simple question of, does where you live in the state affect how you live? 21 profiles one person in each of our 21 counties and looks at the social determinants that affect that person's life. The latest film introduces us to Stacy Ross. Following a lifelong battle with addiction, the Mercer County native is now a certified peer recovery specialist after becoming sober at age 44 and committed to helping others in Trenton do the same, providing resources for treatment and mentorship to young women. Sharing her recovery, Stacy joins me now. Stacy, it is a pleasure to speak with you today. Oh, it's all my pleasure. Thank you for having me. You have had, quite frankly, quite a journey. When did you hit bottom and how were you able to take the first step on the road to recovery? So I feel like I've had many bottoms, but the one that really launched me into my recovery journey um, was probably in 2014. Um, I was using for a long time crack cocaine, alcohol, and numerous other substances. And um, I ended up uh, going into renal failure and almost died in the hospital. I was in the hospital for about a month, had to go through three months of chemotherapy to stop the bleeding in my kidneys. And uh, then I got on track and, and decided I wanted to live more than I wanted to die. Well, it's quite a story just to hear it. How does your own experience help you now as you counsel others who are also going through very difficult moments? So I, I used to really I'm down on myself because of a lot of the things that happened in my past, but now I see them as they molded me into the woman that I am today because being able to sit across from either a male or female, but a lot of times uh, the females, they've been through a lot of traumatic experiences and there's nothing like sitting across from someone who has shared some of the same experiences. Uh, it leaves out the judgment and you know just can absolutely relate to what the other person is going through. When you're mentoring young women, what do they need? How do you help them start their own journey back to recovery and health? A lot of times in uh, the houses that I voluntarily run, the sober houses for females, um, you know, just giving them a warm place. Uh, we, a lot of these women are, are coming from the streets, some of them, and, and you know, living in their cars and, and just to give them a warm environment, a safe, supportive environment to come to. Um, you know, that they're just grateful to actually have a bed, but I, I help them through just support, um, pointing them in the right direction, giving them recovery support whenever needed, or just a friend to listen. For people who don't battle with addiction, what do they not understand about addiction? Well, it's almost like saying, you know, people are like, well, why can't you stop because you're such a lovely person or you have a great family or a good job. It's almost like me telling you to stop breathing and not think about it. Um, you know, that is, it's part of the disease. It's part of, you know, it's in our minds. And, um, you know, we, when we don't have another solution, that is exactly what I always would go to is that solution of use a substance to get out of the way you're feeling. What more can be done to help those struggling with addiction in our state? If you could wave a magic wand and change something, what would it be? Uh, I would have more support for people that have no insurance or Medicaid. Uh, I would love to see um, an actual detox and residential treatment center for people that do not have insurance or Medicaid and Medicare. They're the hardest people to place. People talking more about this, which is is happening. There's a lot of great support in in the city of Trenton and in Mercer County itself, but I think we all need to come together as a team and really start not just talking about having things happen to make things change in Trenton and in Mercer County. Stacy, thanks so much for all the work you are doing and for sharing your story with us tonight. Thank you so much. It was absolutely an honor. You can meet Stacy and the other extraordinary Jersey residents at mynjpbs.org backslash 21.